Let me introduce you to the greatest player in the NBA, Nas. Nas Reed. Huh? You either love him or you hate him, but you better not fucking hate him. A post god, lethal shooter, and the smoothest ball handler in the game. It's like if you combine Kyrie and AI. They don't call him Big Jelly for no reason. And if you still don't understand how good Nas is by this point, this is some completely real footage of him playing Michael Jordan. You get it now, don't you? He might be the best player in the league, but he's never got the right opportunity because he's always backing up these two. So today, we're giving Nas not only his own team, but the entire league. Yeah, you heard me. He deserves it. This is because we took out every single player in the NBA but Nas and replaced him with 40 overalls. So no LeBron, no Giannis, no Embiid, no Isaac Bonga. I don't even know if he's still in the league, but you get the point. With every single player gone, can Nas finally up his game and win a championship? We got the team set up, and as you can see, Nas is the only real player in the league. I took out all the free agents, so there's no chance any team is signing anyone. There are still G League players, but I've tested it out before. No one ever gets called up to play on the team. This is basically a one-man show, so unless he gets injured, there's no way this team doesn't win a ring. Because this is basically what the 40 overalls play like. And this is Nas playing said 40 overalls. I'm gonna sim out the first few games, see what happens, and hopefully we can go undefeated and end up going 82-0 in the season. We're starting 5-0, sick. Oh wait, why was this game so low scoring? Where is Nas? So unless he gets injured, there's no way this team doesn't win a ring. It's not too bad, it's only a couple of weeks, so we should be okay. Holy f- This is what happens when you're the only player left in the league. Or if you're Nas Reed, of course. We're simming the rest of the season out, and we're already losing. Nice. At this point, we did not make the in-season tournament playoffs or whatever it's called because Nas is now out for 8-10 to 10 weeks. So we're going to sim to the playoffs, see what happens, hopefully we make it. We ended up making the playoffs because we went 68-14 and 14, and out of those, Nas only played 53, so he didn't win MVP. But one of our guys did, Bruh. so fuck it. We're simming the playoffs out and yeah. We won. But that was kind of expected. But the real challenge is... Wait, hold up. Who the f*** is this guy? Bro. Alright, there's always some bullshit going on in 2K, but like I was saying, the real challenge is to see how many seasons it would take Nas to get dethroned. So that means new draft picks, G League free agents, and any roster switchups. We tried this, it did not go well. Because we ended up missing the playoffs in literally the second season. I am so serious. Nas did his thing though because he was so averaging 24 and 15. I guess the team was his ass. But Nas got what he wanted. He got that ring. So now you know. He's just being held back. We're trying this with someone new, someone who doesn't have a ring, someone who's known very much so to not have a ring. You might have already guessed it. CP0 rings. We're trying this out with him to see if he can finally win a ring if he was the only player left in the league. At this point, if he doesn't, I don't even know what to say. The only difference between Nas and Chris Paul is that CP3 is the shortest player in the league. And I genuinely don't know how that's gonna factor in. Because everyone else is six foot three and he's six foot tall. He started off great, 16 and one, ended the season 78 and four, and even made it all the way to the finals just to get swept. Bruh. I guess some people are just never meant to have a ring. But guess what? Nas did. Huh? 